It Chapter 2 is directed by Andy Muschietti, stars James McAvoy, Jessica Chastain, Bill Hader, and many more. Now, this movie was obviously one of my most anticipated films of the year, mainly because I loved the first day. I thought it was a fantastic movie, mainly because of the kid actors. I thought they were funny and just a great bunch of kids, and I thought it was just perfect. It was funny, scary, tense, everything, and Bill Skarsgård gave a great performance in that first one. However, for It Chapter 2, I was a bit nervous because all of the kids in that movie, well, they are all grown up. This takes place 27 years after the first It. Pennywise is back and the Losers Club has to band together one more time to fight Pennywise. I didn't really know how this film was going to go, but I was very excited for it. And now that I have seen it, Chapter 2, I can honestly say, uh, well, I can sadly say this is probably the most disappointed I have been this year um, watching a movie. Now, was this movie bad? No, it's not a bad movie, but was this even close to as good as the first it? Uh, definitely, definitely not. This movie has problems. I had lots of problems with it, but like I said, this movie isn't bad. I did like some parts of this movie, so let's talk about what I did like. Performances were all pretty good. The main cast of adults, James McAvoy, got Jessica Chastain, No Hater, which uh, probably gave the best performance out of all of them. And you got some other adults. I'm not sure everybody's name. I apologize, but everybody gave a pretty good good performance in the movie. I would have to say the best performance in the movie, like the first hit, that would be Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. Man, that guy is a phenomenal actor and I cannot wait to see what he does in the future. I really just like the cast of adults. I think they did a great job of casting them. It seriously looks like the adult versions of the kids in It Chapter 1 which is great, great job casting in the movie. Something else I enjoy a lot about this movie is older Richie played by Bill Hader. He's pretty much the only character who had a storyline that really went anywhere by the end of this movie. And he's also probably the funniest in the movie. His character definitely had some great lines and some great moments and Bill Hader gave a pretty good performance as him. And speaking of comedy, that's something I kind of expected from this movie, but this movie is hilarious, which is good and bad. I enjoyed most of the comedy in the movie. I laughed quite a bit. However, um, I think they did it a bit too much. For every like horrifying scene or every scene that they were trying to like build up tension, they would pretty much just deflect with comedy at the end of that scene. And it really just kind of took me out. And I really did not feel any tension at all. And also this movie is long, which is probably part of the reason why I didn't feel any tension. This is a very long movie. I'm pretty sure the runtime is like two hours and 40 some minutes. I'm not completely sure, but it is long and you feel it. There are a lot of scenes that they could have cut out in my opinion. Like I honestly could have cut out probably like an hour in this movie and made it more of a compact film because it is very long and there are a lot of storylines in this movie that just don't go anywhere. Just a ton of stuff that they build up and it just has no payoff. There's a storyline that involves the bully from the first movie and um, that entire storyline is pretty much pointless in this movie. I literally don't know why they put it in the movie. And it literally went nowhere. And if you didn't have that storyline in this movie, that would have honestly probably cut like 10 minutes off the movie. And yeah, just I really think that they could have cut this movie down quite a bit. There's this one scene in this movie where James McAvoy's character is in this antique shop and he goes to buys his old bike back and uh 
I just don't understand why they put that scene in this movie. It literally served no purpose. And there are just a bunch of scenes like that in this movie that just go absolutely nowhere. And it's just long. I felt no tension, not scary, which for being a horror movie, yeah, it's a bit disappointing in my eyes. Like, just because of how good the first movie was, kind of like I said, it was just fantastic. I loved it. And Andy Muschietti showed that he was a great director. So it's just disappointing knowing that he didn't pull off the sequel as good as their first one. And it's kind of a shame because there are some great scenes in this movie. There's this one scene in this movie. Now, it's not going to spoil anything because it is literally the entire first trailer. But to me, that was honestly the best scene. And that is when Beverly... Um, goes back home and there's this old lady now staying at her place and that was honestly probably my favorite scene in the movie that one scene alone actually has pretty good tension and it was pretty scary that one scene it's just unfortunate that that is probably the only scene in the movie that really has any like real tension to it At the end of the day in chapter two it's probably the most disappointing film I have seen all year. It's not a terrible movie. It's just not what I wanted from this movie. But there are some good things, some pretty good scenes. It's funny and some pretty good performances. Um, so I think I'm going to have to give It Chapter 2 a C-. minus. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this movie review, um, hit that like button. And if this is your first ever video on my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for checking out this video and have a good one.